Hello, and welcome to a, a very special Franchise Hockey Manager 4 stream. My name is Adam. I'm the Community Manager. With me, as always, and pictured on your screen, not wearing a jersey tonight, though, to shock everybody, oh, it is, is FHM producer Jeff. It's an NHL t-shirt, so close enough, eh? <laughs> oh, well, so I, I'm still waiting for you to wear your pink Canucks one. It's orange or red good. or something like that. It's not it's pink. pink. It has never been pink. It was pink. Just yeah, admit it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, and, where we left off last time, I guess this is going to require a little bit of explanation. We were early in 2018-19. I think we were about 3-10 and 10 at the time. or I don't think we even had three wins. I think it was like 2-10. and 10. And uh, it was shaping up to be a pretty long season and pretty much a rebuilding year. And it was actually to the point we were losing so many, I was uh, getting a little bit worried that we were going to uh, wind up getting fired before the end of the year. So uh, we... That would ever happen. Yeah. So I decided, okay, well, better play this forward a little bit and then maybe we'll pick up the show in the, the next season or during the off season. I can show you some of the stuff that goes on there. However, so uh, I picked up... I, did, I didn't want to get fired, obviously, so I made a couple of trades and... Uh, we're going to the transaction log... Mainly they were, uh, you'll see that in a second, sending younger guys prospects, sort of like middle of the road, two, three star prospects for guys who were 18 or 19, which are a little easier to pick up uh, because they're going to be, particularly the 19 year olds, they're going to be over age next year. So they've only got maybe a, a season, season and a half in, in them at, um, at most. So they're relatively cheap, and that improves, lets me improve the line, the line, the lineup at least to the point where we start winning a few games. Uh, we were still pretty bad. Uh, oops, want to show the division one? Uh, not great, uh, but the good news is the rest of the division was even worse. So I was sort of limping along, uh, playing. I didn't really get close to 500 until the end of the year, where. We had a few wins. Uh, most of the time I was sitting like uh, fourth or fifth place. But the uh, rest of the division went downhill. Uh, I picked up uh, another guy or two at the trading deadline. And we somehow did just well enough to finish in second place in the division. Which is still, I mean, no great accomplishment. If we'd been playing in the central division, we wouldn't have made the playoffs. So you can see there, Edmonton's the worst team in the division with 79 points. Uh, we made the playoffs with 70 points. So we really had no business being in the playoffs, let alone going anywhere. But we get into the playoffs, and this happens. Uh, we almost blew the opening round. I think we were up uh, by up 3-2 to two against uh, Regina. We almost handed that back, but wound up winning in seven. Then again, the next round, Prince Albert, uh, another seven-game series. We somehow won that. And, you know, those first two, the Regina was worse than us. That's not that much of a surprise. Prince Albert, that's a big upset. They had, they were first place in the division. They did much better than us. They had a red-hot goalie. And somehow we beat them. Don't ask me how. So we go on to red, the next final where it's Red Deer for the, from the Central Division who should also be able to beat us handily. We win in six games. Figure that out. So I'm not sure how we're winning, but we are winning. So where this all puts us at the end of this is in the league finals, playing for a chance to go to the, well, for the, it'll be for our first, if we win this, it'll be our first, I think, league championship of any kind playing in a stream uh, in the, what, two years we've done it, Adam? Uh, yeah, well, you just cursed us yeah. now, so. Well, yeah, I'm sure I have, but uh, anyhow, we've got uh, Spokane in the final, who's actually, uh, they got there through a couple of upsets too, uh, beating Tri-Cities in Kelowna. But uh, we shouldn't be here. We are somehow, but I am going to try to win this now. So we're going to play all these games out, however far the final goes, and do it a little, do it a little slower than we normally do. And I will try and pay a little uh, closer attention to what we're doing and every, do every single little thing I can to scrape out a win. Let me just uh, give you a look at what the roster is looking, looking like right now. Uh, Miskew, the 19-year-old uh, goalie, well, he's, he's 20 here, but uh, it's his, he's got an early birth date. So we got one more season with him. Uh, he developed uh, second. He got to two and a half stars midway through the season. 
Uh, he actually had a pretty good year. You can see uh, he improved his goals against average by about 20 points. Save percentage is up quite a bit too. Uh, three shutouts, and he went to 22 and 16, even though we were uh, below 500. Uh, the backup, uh, Kruger, 17-year-old, who will be uh, probably a starter in another year or two. Uh, didn't have that great of a rookie season. Struggled a little bit, but he did have one good moment in the playoffs against Prince Albert. Uh, I think that was... Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. Yeah, no, we, the uh, starter, Miskew, got into trouble. Oh, no, that's no, I'm, that wasn't against Prince Albert. It was against Regina in the first round. Miskew got into trouble. He almost blew the series when uh, Regina came back from being down 3-1. to one. So I decided to throw in Kruger in the last game. What the heck? And he wound up shutting him out and then shut out Prince Albert in the opening game of the next series. And then uh, at that point, he started to tail off again. So I eventually had to put Miskew back in. And he's been playing reasonably well. He's, he's still a little bit warm. Not that hot, but uh, good enough to uh, get us here. And from here you can see, uh, very, I've moved out. You can notice I've moved out a lot of the 16, 17-year-olds. We've had at the start of the season, and you're seeing more guys. 19 or 19 going on 20. Uh, the stat totals for the season, much less scoring than we had last year. Matheos, obviously our best player. Uh, He'll probably be gone to the NHL uh, next year. Um, now, average point hurt? game. Hmm? He was hurt at the start of the season, if I remember back to the last episode, was he not? Yeah, we he missed a few games at the start of the season, and then uh, also we was he went to the World Juniors, but didn't actually was on Team Canada, but I don't think he actually got into any games. So okay. he uh, we he missed a bunch there. But other than that, not a lot of scoring after him. Uh, McGrew uh, was one of the guys I picked up in the middle of the year. Uh, a little bit. I mean, there's a little more balance between the first and second line scoring, but that's more the first line scoring dropping off than it is the second line playing particularly well. Uh, some of the rookies, uh, Greg was shuttling anywhere between the second and fourth line, depending on what our injury situation was. He got wound up with 20-something uh, points. That you'll see in a second, he did a lot better in the playoffs. We've got a fairly good young group of defensemen developing, so I think we're going to be in okay shape there next year. Uh, forwards are going to be another story. We'll probably have to pull something together out of our uh, rookies and uh, younger players and maybe make a couple of trades in the offseason to get into uh, some kind of acceptable uh, shape uh, for the forwards. But if I just okay. switch over here, you can see what's happened in the playoffs. Matheos, again, obviously leading. McGrew uh, scoring a lot more. Uh, Baron Thompson, who actually somehow wound up on the U.S. team in the World Junior Championships. Despite not having a particularly good season for us, he's more of a checking forward, so I guess they needed some defensive help. So they brought him up. Uh, he's actually having a really good playoff. Uh, Greg, the rookie, a uh, pretty solid playoff, so we can probably expect decent things from him next year. And just showing you the goalie stats, what went on there. You can see Kruger still got impressive numbers. He had from those two back-to-back -back shutouts he had. Uh, but he tailed off after that, so I had to put Miskew back in. Uh, but both playing pretty much much better than they did during the regular season. So we're pretty happy there. I haven't taken a look at uh, Spokane yet. Who will be playing in this series. Looks like they were, yeah, significantly better than us. 45, 24, and 3 during the regular season. Let's I will point out, Gudu has wished you luck in trying to win this. Thank you, Gudu. And, yeah, scoring-wise, they don't look too different. Uh, if you got Jared Anderson, Dolan... And, uh, yeah, crawl defenseman. A little bit more uh, scoring from the blue line. And Bettens, who we traded earlier, was one of the guys, I think, in the, uh, the McGrew trade we got. We, we sent him. Uh, I think that's uh, what we gave up to get him. He's actually playing not too badly for them. So, they're not that much better than us. It's going to be still going to be tough, but I think we may be able to do this. Uh, one uh, th big problem... Uh, Braden Schneider, our best defenseman, who's probably going to be our best player overall next year, was uh, in the middle of his uh, second season, ruptured an Achilles tendon, and he is gone for another at least a month, uh, probably more. 
I also had uh, Lars Christensen, uh, who I picked up from Everett uh, midway through the year. Uh, he was he got hurt. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, torn calf muscle two weeks after I got him, and missed the balance of the regular season with, and just got back in time for the playoffs. So that's one of the reasons I think why we're doing a little better in the playoffs than we did in the regular season. Uh, we got that guy back, but we're still playing without our best defenseman. Even though we got some decent defensive depth. Uh, I would still love to have him back at this point. So, for sure. Go ahead. Oh, I said for sure, yeah. yeah. Having uh, more depth than defense is never a bad thing. Okay, so... I don't... This is the lineup that I won the last game in the uh, previous series with. So I don't think I'm going to change too much in that. Let's uh, move on to the game. And let's see. Uh, looks like this is going to be a fairly low scoring defensive struggle because both teams have a pretty clear cut advantage uh, defense versus the opposing offense. You can see that in the scores here. Their uh, offensive tag, or my offensive tactic rather, is uh, got a 44. Their defense is a 61. Their offense is a 52. My D is a 65. So pretty much uh, balances each other off. Yeah. Uh, so what do you, do you think? We really slow it down and go for the really conservative approach and just uh, take our chances on who wins, because we are the underdogs here. Up to you. Let's take it easy. And uh, yeah, Vegas uh, mentioning in chat, we got uh, out of the park baseball 19. Uh, Going to be officially released tomorrow. The early early uh, release uh, was at the beginning of the week. Uh, pretty good reviews so far. Uh, looks really nice. They've done a lot of uh, graphical overhauls uh, this year. So I've been playing a little bit of it. Haven't had a ton of time to do it so far, but. So far, so good it looks. Uh, oh, great, and their goalie's pretty hot. So we are going to play this rather than sim it. And I usually just tear through on very fast. I'm going to drop that down. And set it to many highlights. Uh, don't think we need to change anything else. And pretty quiet so far. Good, that's what you want, that's right. They blocked a couple of our shots. We've got a penalty here, and still not getting anything through on the net. That's kind of worrying. And Connor Gutenberg with the wraparound. Makes it one nothing for us on the power play. All right. And you can see the uh, numbers. Uh, I should mention that. Uh, at the beginning of the play-by-play, -play, you'll see a little numerical code there. I'm just playing in debug mode right now because we're working on one more update uh, for the game uh, just to fix a couple of issues that were found after what was going to be the final update. Uh, so I'm still in debug mode here. Uh, it doesn't really affect anything. It just gives me a reference if I see something wrong with the uh, text. I could uh, look it up a little easier that way. But 3-2... Uh, 3-3 on shots, and midway through the third, through the first, having a look at their game scores, there's nothing really standing out so far. Gonna speed it up just a little bit uh, more. 
Oops, no. Not what I wanted to do. Cut it down. So there's a few uh, little show us some more significant highlights. It was showing us every little thing there. That's probably a good choice. But sometimes it's okay to see lots of little things too. Yeah, if we're having tons of saves uh, for us early. Uh, and we got a power play here. And we're at least getting some shots this time, but no goal. Five minutes left in the period, and we're still leading one to nothing. And just about had a tip in there, and just another one right after that. Thompson both times for us. Oh, off the post uh, for Spokane. Uh, well, they almost tied it up there. Hey, sometimes that's what you need. And uh, they tied it up with four minutes left. Uh, looks like we had a couple of shots from the point and uh, scramble in front of the net on the rebound. On the second one, they cleared, went back up the ice and scored on us. That's unfortunate. But generally, we're playing pretty well. 13-10 on shots, 1-1 one, one tie at the end of the first period, going into the second now. You can see on the uh, tactical advantage scores, it's not much uh, separating the two teams. I could probably do something on the penalty kill to make that a little bit better. Yeah, I'm just going to stop that for a second and go into the strategy screen. If I can... Uh, not really a lot of... Okay, yeah, there we go. I knocked their uh, advantage down in the power play down quite a bit. We had a two-man advantage there for a few, looked like about a minute and blew that. And Daniel Bukatch gets a defenseman comes up to the point uh, and he's having a pretty good game so far, 65 game score. And that makes it two to one for us and we're getting good pressure on him and they've taken another uh, series of penalties here but we're not doing anything with it. Yeah, Bukic, really good game goal. He's uh, had a couple of shots, blocked three shots, <laughs> throwing a hit. Excellent. And Marcus Secundiak, 3-1, to one, uh, Brandon. Uh, fairly promising in game one. I will, uh, if we get another goal, nope, almost had one there, but didn't. Actually going to cut that down to... Just a few highlights, since we're up by a couple. And uh, I think that, uh, well, not really that much of a defensive game. 20 shots each, uh, going to, getting towards the end of the, the second. But we're playing a little slower, a little more conservative, and it's working so far. Took a penalty there, and no, nope, Miskew gets a blocker on it, so remains 3-1 to one for Brandon. 16 minutes left in the third. Spokane seems to be uh, dominating possession-wise in the middle part of this period, though. Well, that'll happen every once in a while. And a 
couple of saves by the Spokane goalie there. Looks like we were going to get close, but didn't happen. Ten minutes left in the period, halfway through. Still pretty close on shot totals, but... And another, we're getting a lot of deflections on the, the goalie, so... I don't know if they're having issues uh, clearing the front of their net or what, but... Uh, or if our guys are just that much bigger than they are in front of the net, I'm not sure. Well, we're getting a few uh, tip shots that way. And again, 27-27, shots dead even, going into about three minutes left in the third. See if we can hang on here. Two minutes. And it's Theos almost puts it out of reach there, but uh, missed the net. Oh, is that? I said every time you say that, it feels like things just go worse. <laughs> we'll see if we can hang on. Well, just oh, love averages. Just... If I keep saying it, eventually it's not going to go right, and we wind up winning this one, three to one. And uh, Miscue, the goalie, uh, doesn't get an extra heat rating, but uh, he's uh, first star of the game, 26 uh, saves on 27 shots. So continuing to get solid goaltending, and we, I didn't know I should have checked for injuries. I don't think we had any, but we are up one nothing, And we don't have home advantage here, so, or we do now, actually, because we just stole it. Uh, by winning that first game in Spokane. So I'm obviously going to go with the same lineup and uh, pretty much the same strategy for game two. See if Spokane shakes it up a little bit. Uh oh, we got some news. Oh, it's the end of the month, isn't it? Oh, it's just a development report, yeah. And some of these guys I'd like to wish you are coming on a little bit faster than they are. It's a little discouraging to see your younger guys only getting uh, one uh, attribute improving in a month. What's our uh, training looking like? Uh, training I've got split up. Uh, I'll show you it. A little lower than I normally go, although actually I'm. Oh, I missed somebody here. Uh, mental training, I should add one more guy in there. I want to find one of the younger ones. But yeah, 12, 10 bonuses in there. What's our uh, coach like? I mean, not us, but we won't have a lot of experience at this point. Only having two seasons. No. Okay, game two. And again, slow it down. Lower risk. And uh, they didn't change goalies, not surprisingly. And what do I have the options on? A few and... Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah, question chat out of the park is, though well, they're on version 19 now, uh, we're on version, coming up on version 5, so... They got about 14 years on us, so we got some catching up to do. We're, but, you know, there's, we've got the advantage we can borrow things from them once in a while. I saw a couple of things that uh, were in uh, this year's version that I think will be relatively easy for us to do. Pretty good ideas. Uh, just want something like that there. You can now, uh, when you're doing, playing a historical uh, game, rather than in the year you started, rather than using the rosters from the beginning of that season, you can have them set the way they were at the end of that season. So that should be relatively easy for us to do, and Leonard McCorrister makes it one nothing for us. And a couple more chances there. We're up four to two on shots. So this game looking a little bit more defensive than the last one.
And now it's us. It's not getting much offense. Uh, shots are only 4-4, and it's 13 minutes into the first period. And Miskew uh, gave up a few too many rebounds there. Spokane ties it up 1-1. A little bit worrying, but I know we've got a decent group of defensemen in front of them. So they can take care of those rebounds most of the time, but I guess not that time. And Spokane out shooting us handily now. 9-4 uh, getting towards the end of the first. 10-4. That's disappointing. And now we've got a penalty. It looks like we actually got a shot on goal while killing that. Oh, and Spokane hits the post uh, on the power play. And then they score. Jared Anderson, Anderson Dolan after the penalty expired. Spokane is up 2-1, to one, uh, out shooting us 11-4 to four at the end of the first period. So we need to get something back here. If we're still not getting shots by the middle of this period, I'm going to... Maybe get them to pick it up a little bit offensively. Take a few more chances. And uh, five minutes in, no sign of offense so far. Well. And we're having trouble clearing it now, it looks like. And Spokane got a couple more shots in that exchange. They're shoot shooting us 16 to 5 now. Five shots almost halfway through the game is not good. Time to turn up that intensity? I think so. As everything I'm seeing on the play by play is uh, Spokane doing stuff. Yeah, 17-6 halfway through the second. Uh, that is time to make some changes strategy-wise. The good news is we're only down by one, right? So. Yeah. I want to switch that penalty killing back to what I had it before. And they've got a two-man advantage. Oh, missed the net on the first try. We've still got most of that to kill off. And we do. We kill off the two-man advantage. Excellent. But it's still not getting us any more offense. Anderson Dolan having a big game for Spokane, their leading scorer. Got a power play here. Let's do something. Well, we at least got a shot, but... Oh, and then we blew the power play by taking a penalty. Well... That would seem about right. Can't seem to build enough momentum for what we need. Yeah, and we're taking a lot of penalties here, it seems like. It seems we're destined to not win this game. And the second you say that, uh, Bettens, the guy that we traded to Spokane, scores with a couple of seconds left in the uh, second period. So now going into the third, we are down by two, and we still only have seven shots, so we've really got to pick it up offensively now. I'm going to move into high risk. It's not very high risk. It's a little too much. And hopefully we can get a goal early here.
And yeah, they're just dominating us so far. Even uh, take more offensive chances, we're not getting any shots on goal. Call the goalie. Literally no shots on goal this period for us. So finally, looks like we're in. Nope, they managed to block that one. The goalie. What are their blocked shots looking like? Uh, three, seven, eight. They have more blocked shots than we have uh, shots on goal. Oh, there we go. We finally got the first shot of the period. Huzzah. 11 minutes into it. That's okay. impressive. It's actually it took that long. And as soon as I start taking more risks, they make it 4-1, so that's probably how this one is going to wind up. Uh, we just did nothing in the second half of that game. About midway through the uh, second period, our offense completely dried up. Just hoping uh, Miscue stays relatively hot after this one. But we're going to be down to a best of five series after this. It could be worse. So, do I make any lineup changes after that? I'll continue on. Uh, nobody's hurt. Time to get Nolan Patrick. Yeah, see if, see if the Flyers will loan me uh, him for the rest of the season. Doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, oh, that's the autosave. Beginning of May. And since it's towards the end of the year, the uh, file, save file gets a little larger at the, this time of the year. So it takes a little bit longer to save. Fair Particularly enough. when you've got an old, slow system like mine. Goody says, got a sim to win. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oh, we got the Hall of Fame nominee choice. Keppo Newman. Not on the list of possible nominees, but Keith Kachuk is. If you want no, me to vote no, for... No? No. 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 <laughs> Another uh, Jet legend, Jeremy Moronic. He would have never played for the Jets. Well, he played for the Coyotes. That's almost like playing for the Jets. <laughs> Dude, that's just not even anywhere close. Uh, I think I'm going to put uh, Daniel Alfredson on there. That's curious. Oh, I'm wrong. I was looking at, oh, I was looking at the wrong list. That was the actual list of nominees, I think. Uh, and Newman is on this list, so I will give you that one. Newman is a completely underrated defenseman. We'll see if he gets any votes. <laughs> he should get at least one. Stairs hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am going to, I think, swap uh, Yorio the rookie out with Whitnick, who's had a little bit more offense this year. Uh, Forward-wise, I don't think... I think I want to make any changes here. Yeah, I think I'll leave that as it is for this game. Uh, 
And let's see if we can... Uh, Trying to find a few more countering rolls for us that uh, will improve our score a little bit, tactical score. Savoy says he loves runic when he's with the Blackhawks. And I'm going to go back to slowing this down because I think that's still our best bet against them. And this is our first home game of the finals. Hope we at least get a shot sometime in the first five minutes. Pull the goalie. Six six attackers. Well, we go. tried one there and it went over the top of the net. Well, three minutes in, we don't have any shots, but neither do they. Literally no shots six and a half minutes into the game. Oh, and finally, Spokane takes the first shot of the game, and it goes in. Well, yeah, you jinxed us. That's how that works, right? And we finally get one nine minutes in. And we did even up there. We've actually uh, picked it up uh, a little bit. All right. And yeah, actually, we're sorry, a little interrupted there, but uh, we're actually up twelve. We're up two to one now, and uh, shooting them twelve to one. So great second period, a great first period rather. Uh, bounced back, and uh, yeah, definitely no complaints about that. Although it looks like Miskew has gone cold in goal, so we could really use a win here to get him back in action. But yeah, we've gone from uh, pretty much no shots in the first half of the period to finishing, I think, with 13 or 14. So we really broke out uh, there, and hopefully that's going to continue. Yeah, we're actually out shooting Spokane 20 to 2 at this point. 20 to 3, sorry. I just got one. Excellent. You're out shooting them badly, but uh, still only that one goal lead. That makes me a little nervous. And they are starting to get a few more shots on goal. But it would be nice if we could uh, get through this, aside from you know winning the championship, we'd also get to see the Memorial Cup. We haven't uh, done that in a stream yet. Okay. I, I missed what you said there. It'd be nice if, if we can, why if we do win this final, we get into the Memorial Cup, and we haven't seen that uh, in a stream yet. No, we haven't. Although you think we would at some point.
And still a two to one margin shots uh, getting near the end of the second. Although Spokane is starting to get a whole bunch more offense here, this is a little worrying. Because we would really like to come out of both of these games in Brandon with wins. And they took an interference penalty there. We got a little few more shots finally, some more offense from us. But getting near the end of the second period now. And two to one end of the second. So one more period here. If we can hang on to it, let's hope. Interesting game rating line there from King, our defenseman. I've never seen one that with that much divergence before. 39 offensive game rating, 93 defensive. But 82 overall. Uh, chat question tonight. Did you see Crosby's goal? Nope. Uh, what did he do? I heard about it. I haven't watched it yet. And by heard about it, I mean TSN sent an alert to my phone. And Spokane ties it up. Ten minutes left in the third. Or nine minutes. Uh, Eleven minutes left in the third, rather. So even though we're out shooting them. It's that same line getting a bunch of chances for Spokane. Might be headed to overtime in this one. Seven and a half minutes to go, and it's still tied 2-2. We're out shooting them 33-23, but can't seem to get anything else past Busky. Some gone. Oh, McCorister gets a late goal for us. Four minutes left. And I'm going to stop it there, and we will... Go hardcore. Slow the tempo right down. Take very few offensive chances. And try to run out the clock. Minute and a half. And we're managing to retain position here. Thirty-five seconds, and there we go. Three to two win in game two. So we hold home advantage and uh, up two to one in the series. And their goalie cooled off a little bit, but ours didn't get any hotter. Oh. Um, take what you can get, I guess, right? Yeah. And I'm going to have to speed this up a little bit because we're already, it's already quarter to eight and we've only got three games in. But going with that lineup again, obviously, they played pretty well. Adjusting my uh, forward lines a little bit, take some advantage of their weaknesses and the weaknesses in their tactics. And we'll crank it up to very fast. Yeah. 
And a few chances for us early, and we're up five. Yeah, we're still allowed shooting him again. Uh, five one, and nope, Chorney again gets his uh, first goal of the game, like he did last time. And but we even the right up. Christensen uh, makes it one one. A little more offense this time out, looks like. About time. And McCorster makes it two to one, Brandon. Could we actually finally be breaking the streak here? And I'm deliberately saying this is the hell with the jinx. <laughs> it can't work every time, right? It can work every time. <laughs> it's like uh, just think positive. poking the bear. Uh, approaching midway through the game, and we almost made it 3-1. Haven't seen a lot of scoring from our uh, top guys in this series so far. It's mainly been the uh, second line, I think. Getting a few more chances there and heading towards the end of the second. We're up 2-1, 21-16 uh, advantage. Advantage shots. Uh, Holding on to that one goal lead, still clinging to it. And Ridley Grigg makes it 3-1 to one for us, 10 minutes left in the third. Savoy giving the update on Crosby says he tapped a deflected puck in midair then batted it past Price on his way across to the front of the net. We sure that wasn't goaltender interference? Because it was probably goaltender Spokane interference. gets a late goal, but it isn't enough, and we win that one 3-2. to two, So they are on the brink of elimination. We can uh, finish this in Spokane. Uh-oh, we got a problem, though. Uh, strained rib cage for Bukac, who's been a pretty good uh, defenseman this series for us. So I'm going to have to replace him with, I think Ettinger is the veteran there. I'll go with him. Anything else? No, don't think so. I will point out, I'm, I'm very happy with the NHL's decision to uh, move all the de decisions to the Take it out of the referee's hands. Oh, yeah, the replay officials? Yeah. yeah. Okay, game five at Spokane. Can we finish them off tonight? Probably not. Let's be honest. No, I think positive. Uh, the game wants us to play more. Okay, game three, and they get a couple early shots and score very quickly, so you may be right. Uh, in one nothing Spokane three minutes in. And we're not getting much offense at all here, it looks like. No shots through, oh, through the first... I don't know, I thought they scored there, they didn't. Yeah, we need to do something offensively. Finally, we get a shot near the end of the first period. Definitely change up our low-risk approach for the second period. So we got to be shooting more than that. And Secundiac, only our third shot of the game, but he ties it up for us. Five minutes into the first, or the second rather. 
seem to be getting a lot of play in their zone. We're just not getting any pucks on the net. Savoy just says, no, no, you didn't touch Price. Yeah, I figured, but, you know, that's just, that was the joke. Okay, this is amazing. We've only got three shots. We're approaching the end of the second. And there we go. They I was going to say we had a tie. We have had a tie, but they made a two to one. So, seriously, guys, open it up. We need to do something here in the third or else we're going to game five, or game six, rather. But Spokane makes it three to one. Four to one. Not going well at all. I mean, uh, had a chance to finish him here and we just did nothing this game. We at least got into double digits on shots, but it's not saying much. I'll hit a post there. But yeah, totally dominated by Spokane. They wound up with 51 shots on goal. So losing Bukic apparently really hurt. Uh, Ettinger is who I had in for him is going out and replace him with the Oreo. Almost thinking about putting the backup in here. Well, no, I, can't, I shouldn't really be taking, pulling the starter because it's not his fault. Uh, he had 50 goals on him. Or 50 shots on him. Taking a quick look at the playoff stats. <clears throat> well, we got about five minutes to wrap this up, Jeff. Think you can get the win? Uh, you'll see. We'll see. That is man's brimming with confidence. Yeah. Okay, game six. Try to get a little more offense going this time. I'm not going to have him play conservatively. And here we go with game six. Back in Brandon. And Spokane Shore scores on their first shot of the game. Of course. Well, it's we have to have a couple of shots one. early, so we're not getting blown out like we did last time. You say that, but it feels like you're just tempting it. <laughs> And Spokane gets a bunch of pressure late in the game, late in the period, and makes it two to nothing. <sighs> and it's three nothing. Are we going to collapse after a three-one series lead? Because you just said that, absolutely. Don't know where our offense has gone. As soon as we lost, as soon as we lost Bukach, the defenseman uh, just completely dried up. Gonna have to juggle the lines going into Game Seven, I guess. Unless we get a miracle in the third period here.
Four nothing Spokane. Are we gonna get shut out at home? Probably. Four nothing final. Not sure what's going wrong. Well, at least their goalie uh, managed to get a little bit hot at the end of that, so I won't be able to blame it on him, and I will have to start him in Game 7, but I've definitely got to shuffle these lines around a little bit. Um, Bukic is ready to resume skating, but is he probably, yeah, he's still got the red uh, cross there, so he's not going to be ready for Game 7, although if we win this one, he may be ready for the Memorial Cup. The problem is we don't seem to be able to win without him. Nope, he's not going in. What what does the AI want to do? Oh, sitting Zay at the second seventeen year old, Richie. Uh, let's see, I almost agree with all of that except a couple of changes there. Uh hmm. Yeah, that's about the best I can do. Trying to squeeze out every little advantage I have here with the uh, countering rolls. Okay, game seven. Cross your fingers. Well, at least we got a shot early. It's more than we've had so far. Good, that is very crazy. <laughs> Jeff can maybe, possibly, you know, kind of maybe pull it off. And there we go. Thompson makes it one nothing for us. Uh, two minutes into the, uh, or two minutes left in the first period, so we're up one nothing at the end of the first. And I actually have ten shots, which is almost our whole offense the last two games. And we're finally putting some pressure on them, so I guess the uh, lineup changes helped. But Spokane and Zumak makes it 1-1. One, one. This is going to be a close one. And Hark, the guy that, uh, did we get him from Spokane? I'm not sure, but, I don't know, I think we got, but a guy we trade for early in the season makes it 2-1, to one, and we're still managing to get shots on goal. We're out shooting M15-11, three quarters of the way through the second. And let's see if we can get out of this period with a one goal lead. Yeah, and they take a late penalty too, so maybe we can make it two goal at the beginning of the third. Getting a couple of shots, but they kill it off. Not much offense out of them, no. And Reinhardt makes it 3-1, to one, Brandon. And at that point, I will go very low risk on the offensive risk taking. Slow it right down. Almost looked like Spokane was going to do something there, but they didn't. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. One. And WHL champions, and we finally broke the, the losing streak, or the championship free streak. Adam, you there? Yeah, sorry. My mind is just all over the place. Because you finally won a game. No, we won a, not a game, a championship. No, I, you, yes, but you won the game when it was important. 
So I guess actually outcome. putting some effort into it and uh, setting the lineup properly uh, had a bit of an impact, or at least I'll claim it did. You say that, but at the same time, you tried to throw away the season because you figured nothing good was going to happen. That's beside the point. <laughs> See, there's there's a lesson there. Uh, mm -hmm. Never try to do anything. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You just give up and assume it's hopeless, then things will work out fine. <laughs> Goodo Creative in the chat. What a time to be alive. I feel like I should add some applause to this, but maybe I just... And it was actually the uh, Spokane player that was the playoff MVP because apparently a sub-500 team getting to the finals uh, doesn't... Yeah, we MVP, MVP candidate, although I don't think uh, we had that much scoring from anybody and uh, maybe the goal could have gone to the goalie, I guess. But now it's not quite over, uh, although this uh, we're going to be winding down this stream in a second. But the season is not over because we've now got the Memorial Cup to go to. So I'm just advancing up to that so we can see who our competition is in it. The uh, W, the OHL and uh, Quebec uh, playoffs may still be going. Oh, there we go. I think I saw Ottawa there. So Moncton, Ottawa, Cape Breton, and uh, Brandon. That's us. Excellent. And we're open. Looks like we're opening a series against Brandon. So that is where we will uh, shut this down. I will give you a last look at our. Playoff stats summary for the ridiculously improbable run. Yeah, we don't have nobody with a ton of points. Uh, some guys kind of stepped up from the regular season, but overall, uh, somehow we just uh, kept pulling off the upsets. And oh, I wonder is... And Bukach is not back yet. That's not good. He's day-to-day, -day, so hopefully we'll get him back maybe after game one but uh i guess we'll leave off here and then we will be back uh in two weeks with this and see how the memorial cup goes yeah sounds good anyone want to wind up there adam absolutely so thank you very much for tuning into another franchise hockey manager for we typically stream every wednesday night at 10 p.m eastern on twitch.tv slash otp developments although we will occasionally have other special streams like maybe this next week we'll i might sneak in a few extra streams We'll see how things go. So if you're watching our Twitter account, which is at Franchise Hockey, you can also join our Discord channel, which is all linked in our Twitter profile. You can also find us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. And you can come on to our official website, which is ootpdevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, and that will bring you to our official forums, where you can talk about Franchise Hockey Manager and... Um, uh, some other new game called Out of the Park Baseball 19, which launches if you're watching this tomorrow. Yep. Uh, out tomorrow, or actually, well, I think uh, Steam usually does it uh, at uh, sometime in the morning Pacific time. So uh, you'll be able to pick that up if you haven't done it already, or if you've pre ordered, it should be coming up fairly soon. Exactly. But definitely keep an eye out for that. And then we will be back next week, uh, hopefully with, uh, probably, I guess I assume, the Florida Panthers game. Yep, yep, for sure. And then in a couple of weeks, we can see if we can actually win it all. Uh, probably the hardest uh, championship in the game to win. Well, maybe the Champions League in Europe. But uh, beat the champ we've got to beat the champions of two other leagues. Uh, so we will see you in a couple of weeks at the Memorial Cup. Thanks for coming out, guys. <laughs>